Well, welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. And here we are up in the Okanagan Forest. And my daughter and I are at our container cabin, so I thought I'd do an update short video. You know, there's a lot of talk about, well, what do you do so they don't lock the door on you when you're camping out in your container cabin? Well, you can see the Jeep park right there. And it's right there by the front. We'll just come over here. You can kind of see there's the, the outhouse. And this being Memorial Day weekend, we are here at the container cabin. We got the flag out. All due respect, now I'm going to walk inside for just a minute. Now, of course, when you're camping up here, you've been up here for about a day, and as a result, it's pretty messy inside. But I'm hoping that we can get enough of a look. On the left side is the desk. There's some, some wood. On the right side is our cooking kitchen area. And maybe get a little better view there. And it's pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff here. Got a lot of information on bears and cougars because there are a lot of bears and cougars around here. And you can kind of see we've got this hand-me-down desk here. And that's, yeah. Oh, you want one of those, do you? Yep. And you can see we've got a shelf with a pretty good library. Buy one. I'll get that for you in a minute there, young lady. I'm going to go back in here, and of course we're losing our light, but I want to get a look at our stove. You know, it's pretty warm now, but it was pretty cold this morning and last night, so it's pretty helpful. Now all the way in the back there, you can kind of see it's dark because I don't have the lights on. I have a propane little lantern back there that would light that all off, but that's where our sleeping bags are. So this is very simple, very primitive, but it's a pretty good, pretty good container cabin. And I've got a lot of good stuff to read up here, as you can see. And come right up here. There you go. There's some more of my reading material. We've got maps on the wall. And you can see what we've got is a a cloth shower curtain which we use for a doorway when we're up here to keep the heat in and there's looking out at our transportation to get up here and of course that four-wheel drive is pretty nice and then this is the view out the out the container cabin door looking around like this and there's the hills over there well I hope you uh, enjoyed this update brief uh, review of the inside the container cabin. It is, as in the other pictures in the snow, you can come out here and you can pretty much see, now I don't have a fire going right now, but you can see that's pretty much what it is. And there's really no rocket science involved here. None whatsoever. But talk about a secure, great structure. And this is, as I say, Memorial Day weekend, so you can see, see the way the forest looks. And it's pretty quiet now. We understand there's been a bear marauding around here, so we kind of keep an eye on that. And that's a 360 all the way around the camp area. That big blue tarp is a is a trailer that I've had up here for a while and it's just stored up here. Alright, well, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Any comments? Love to hear that too. And let's uh, say thank you so much for the day. And thank you for all those who paid the ultimate price so that my daughter and I could have the freedom to come up here and, and have a a day in the forest together. Good luck to you. Happy trails.